Hi, I'm going to show you a very basic GitHub workflow in which we're going to modify a file that nearly every GitHub repository has. We're going to modify it via the GitHub interface and we'll be doing this on the main or master branch. So this is the, the most important branch and um, it's called either main or master commonly. And this is usually the basic the workflow that you start with when you have never used Git, which is a version control system, then just using the GitHub web face interface is a is a good place to get started. So I take a random repository here. Um and um so let's take a look, it's called a basketball, the owner is Transform, whatever that is. Uh, we see that there's a latest change and we scroll a bit down and we see some text here there are some some badges here there's some files some pictures here and what it's showing now is the file readme.md changing this all you need to do is one be logged in so I'm logged in two you need access to you need to be allowed to edit it um, I have that so I'm just gonna click on here because that's all you need to do, click on this, this this pencil to edit it and now we can directly edit it so for example at the bottom I see this stuff, I'm gonna take it away uh, this is a merge conflict, whatever that is so I modify the text uh, because I take this, this this stuff away, I'll delete it again so you can see um, do you think how do I save this? well that's scrolling up and then click on commit changes and already what it says, let's, let's, take, let's, let's take one step back here, so it's, this is readme.md in main, so this means it's the main or the master branch, it's the most important branch. Um, I could also change readme on different branches, but I now do here in main, so I'm going to commit the changes uh, on main, uh, I should um, add a commit message there, I'll say like, like, I will change it to like something like remove merge conflict marker mar merge conflict marker something like this so after the commit this has been changed and now I already see myself at the top looking at the file readme.md if I scroll down you see this, this, this crap is gone if I go to the page you'll see again you'll see me here just having done this if I scroll down all the way you see this, this merge conflict is not visible there so I've, I've fixed the readme.md so in this video I've showed you how to modify readme.md via the GitHub interface on the main or master branch um, and this is usually where you start out to get an idea of uh, branches about version control and so on I'm gonna leave it at that and I wish you a very good day bye